it's week three of the National Football League. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Dolphins and the Hawks. And it's coming right up on EA Sports. It's a stadium known for its design, its noise, and a fan base so passionate. Rock, you know this firsthand. They've retired a jersey number for them. Welcome, everybody, to Lumen Field here in Seattle, Washington. Welcome to another entertaining matchup, folks. Kate Scott, Brock Heward on the call in this one. Rock, a couple of running backs down on the field. You can really take over their offenses when they get in the groove. And I think that's going to be the ultimate goal of both of these offenses, right? I mean, there's just no confusion about it. They want to get their bell cow in that groove and get them going. Find that rhythm where they're ripping off chuck yardage run after run and then just keep on feeding that beast in a game like this. from Seattle. Return starts at the three. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. So the Dolphins offense headed out for their opening drive. And they'll be let out by their third-year signal caller. Last week, Kate, you won't call his effort wasted, never. But you wish a game like that would have come in a win instead of showing up in a contest they ended up dropping. Two touchdowns, no picks. That's the type of game that wins are typically built off of. First play in the drive. Here's Mostert. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few. He got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. He gets it complete to his man, Tyree Kill. It's a gain of 21 yards to pick up that first down. You know what I like about that, Kate? I like that they're not coming out slow. They're willing to go with some looks here that will yield big yardage down the field instead of just settling for dinking and dunking the ball. Thompson back to throw. He's got it. Room to run. And he'll cross the 50 and start pushing onto the opposing side of the field. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. And third and short in your back pocket, you can get even more aggressive and take that shot. Throwing now off play action. Flushed out of the pocket. Oh, he was on the move, but so was the defense, and they take him down. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. Here's Thompson, able to get it to Mostert. And he's gonna go down right along the midfield strike. It's plays like that, Kate, right wrong, where I sit and judge defense. I judge the awareness. I judge how well that coordinator's got him equipped to see what's going on in the field, and not just see it, but attack it. And they devoured that screen game on third down. So out come the Seahawks for their first offensive possession. They'll be led out by the 12th year pro from West Virginia, Geno Smith. As you're running onto the field with this kind of field position as a quarterback, you're reminded yourself and your huddle. Hey, let's be disciplined. Got to be on the details here. Got to take care of the football. And you also encourage them and let them know that script you've been working on all week. Well, there's a lot of field and there's a lot of plays ahead of them. Go and put a score on the board. And he's brought down by a collective effort there. Only one yard on the carry. This close to your own goal line, they really don't want to risk a sack. That means, well, one option. Run it and buy whatever breathing room you can. He'll throw it from his own end zone. Completed to lock it. And he's up to the seven-yard line as he gets all down. Looking at a tough spot to punt it away if this third down is unsuccessful. Blitz coming for Smith. That's caught for the first. And he's going to get this up to the 26 before being taken down. It's a gain of 19 on the play. And the Seahawks will have a first down. 
You know, Kate, you'll find teams go to this crossing route concept sometimes a dozen times a game. A lot of times it's for shorter yardage, but sometimes things break in the right coverage for a much bigger impact play just like that. Pass taken in by Lockett. And he's tackled for a short game. Now here's a look at his production from last week and the part he played in his offense's victory. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. And again, it's Smith. That's a catch, Jackson Smith in Jigba. And a nice game here, but it stops short of the first. Third and just two to go. Now an inside give to Walker. And he'll go down, and we'll say right at the 39-yard line. They'll say he got five there, but Brock, all they care about is the first down that comes with it. First and ten at the 39-yard line. Staying with Walker. And he's able to drive up past the 40. We'll get a stoppage now. Looks like we have someone banged up after that run in need of some attention. Second and six coming up here. A play fake. Now Smith to throw. Out left and Lockett makes the grab. And he'll get it up to the 44. So now here's third and five. Shotgun snap to Smith. Complete beyond the marker. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Following that completion, medical staff headed out for an injured player. We'll see what the nature of his injury is. Offense marching it downfield on their opening drive. Here's a first and ten from the 47. They go play action. Here's Smith. Across his body, and they make the interception. Dolphins will take over as he records his first interception of our season. Not the auspicious debut they'd certainly hope for on that opening drive. The coverage impressive, taking their first possession away with that interception. Hey, it is tough to play a clean game in this league. The caliber defenders are awesome. You just hope that eventual missteps happen at a less meaningful moment than your opening series. You don't want to make it any harder to get your rhythm and get your passing game going. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. Thompson now. Finds his man, Waddle. And he's going to be brought down at the 35-yard line. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Back to throw. Here's Thompson. Got his target. It's Hill. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. I'm sure coach and play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. And that carry only nets one on the plunge up the gut. You know, not a ton of yards, but still showing that commitment to the ground game. The type of run that keeps the defense from loading up in coverage and focusing entirely on that passing game. Short throw is dropped. This one's incomplete. Couldn't connect with Tyreek Hill. So now it's going to be third and long. Throwing now from the gun. That one is caught, left side of the field. They'll get 14 yards and a new set of downs. It was such a privilege for me to watch Marvin Harrison and Reggie Wayne in person in Indianapolis do their work. Daryl Jackson out in Seattle, they showed how great a deep out is as a chain-moving play. It's all about getting that leverage at the top of the route and then exploiting the leverage as that ball arrives on time downfield. Working inside the red zone. And he will score! Touchdown, Miami! The Dolphins parlay the interception into points. 
All right, partner, what do you think? Was that a design read, or did he just see space and he was reacting more on the old quarterback instinct there? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think yes on both of them, and that play happens so fast that it really is instincts on both sides. That one splits the uprights. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. Sanders all set to send it away. Fielded at the seven. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. So Seattle retakes the field for their second series. And they got off on the wrong foot here with that opening drive interception that led to points the other way. Yeah, and what this defense has shown is they are going to capitalize on your mistakes, and not just a little, but by a lot. So from here on out, you better play some mistake-free football because this defense is hunting for more. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. New slated downs to approach here from the 40. Walker on first down. And they beat him to the edge. That run stopped back at the line. No progress on first down, and that'll bring up second and ten. It's Walker on the option. And he's not going to get much. A modest gain at best in the 41. They push it forward for a yard. That brings up third and eight. And we will not get another play. That's going to do it for the first quarter. 7-0 is our score. More from Lumen Field in just a minute. About set for the second quarter. Seahawks football here. They've got third and eight. Out of the gun, here's Smith. Flushed down out to his left. And this one does not go far. So we have to pause here. Team officials saw what we did. We've got a Seahawk that is injured out there. They're going to tend to him now. Fourth down punt from the Seahawks. And that means we're going to see Michael Dixon head on to send it skyward. He punted four times last week in the win. And his first of this week is away. And this one did hit at the eight, but took a big bounce and finished its journey in the end zone for a touchback. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. To throw, Thompson. Makes the catch, but does not do it in bounds. Looks like he came down on that sideline. Second down, coming up. Shotgun snap, they're gonna throw. Gets this to OBJ. And he's able to get across the 25 before stepping out. Third and four coming up now. They go play action here. Dump off complete to his running back. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. You're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. A give to Mostert out of the gun. And he crosses out of bounds, and now we're going to learn who the penalty flag is on. So now, partner, got to reevaluate what to do on this next snap because the holding call pushes him back quite a ways. Play action on first down. He throws a bullet down the right side. He's got his man complete. And he's out of bounds after getting this to the opposing 45. It's a 31-yard play. And that's going to give the Dolphins a first down. 
You know, Kay, we often talk about flipping the field in special teams, right? A, a kick return, a good punt. Well, an explosive play like that does the exact same thing. Look at the difference in field position by hitting on that shot. You've totally flipped the field and the tone of this drive. Throwing it again here. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he'll be brought down at about the 29. He picks up 15 on the play. And it'll be first down Miami. Now he'll throw off the play fake. An alert play defensively there. He got a hand on it to tip it away. And that makes it second down. Throwing from the gun. On target to Waddle. And he's brought down. They're going to mark him at the 14. Give him 15 yards on the pickup there. And that's going to give the Dolphins a first down. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. And he will score. Touchdown, Miami. The Dolphins get another six to make this a 13-0 game. They were throwing for it there, and they didn't care who knew about it, Bronk. And it turns out, hey, nothing was going to stop them either. Yeah, there's something about an empty formation. You are declaring to a defense, other than QB draw, this ball is going to be in the air. But at the same time, you also force the defense's hand. There's only so many coverages they can play, and they just exposed them. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Sanders all set to send it away. Returning it from the four. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. But well, we've already seen some nice plays here, and we're going to see plenty more before this game ends. But you might be thinking, with plays like that, my guy's ratings should be better. Well, you're not alone. you got a chance to let the Madden ratings hotline know just what you're thinking. And there's a man there. It's intercepted. Picked up, Kendall Fuller. And the Dolphins are going to have it after his second interception of the season. You know, one of the beauties of the game of football is it never sits still. It's constantly adapting. And that nickel defense right there, critical in taking the ball away. And when you think about nickel defense, you think about Rondé Barber. When the Hall of Fame in the summer of 2023, really revolutionizing the position of the nickel back. That nickel defender and that nickel defense, critical in that takeaway we just saw. The Dolphins offense ready to go as they take the field. And I'm pretty sure, Brock, they hadn't even all sat down on that sideline yet to rest. And now they're right back out there with a great chance to repeat their last touchdown. And you will take that every day of the week and twice on Sundays. You don't <laughs> mind at all. You got that defense right now reeling after the touchdown. Look at where they start with the football now. Defense too much. The Seahawks drag him down. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Another try following the sack. Completes this one to Hill. And he's able to get this to the 32 before going down. Kate, one thing I learned from the late great Mike Leach is, yeah, the system was called air raid, but it wasn't just attacking downfield. His philosophy, and it played out right there, is you have to attack every inch of the field, both vertically and horizontally, without routes or in routes, just like that. They get an even 10 on that play, and it'll be first down Miami. I know the combine tries to test everything it possibly can physically, but I don't know how you test courage at the combine because there's nobody defending you. Nobody wants to hit you. But that was the epitome of courage to make that in cut and make the catch. And they're going to get this down to the four before being stopped. They'll have first and goal to go now after they gain 18 on the previous play. I think my favorite part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. They'll run with Mostert. And he gets to the end zone. Touchdown. 
The Dolphins take a 20-zip lead. Raheem Mostert, the touchdown. Well, this machine has been firing on all cylinders this game, partner. And it continues firing as that lead grows yet again. And those who've tried to get in the way of that machine you're talking about, namely the defense, well, they've paid the price over and over and over again. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Sanders all set to send it away. Has this at the six. This return makes it up to the 25. The Seahawk offense taking the field now. And this drive, Rock, hopefully longer than that last one. They were only out there one play before they were picked off. Now, kind of a good chance right now to see how risk-averse these guys are offensively. A lot of game left. They could give the passing game a little breather and start this one on the ground. Looks like play has been paused. We've got a timeout taken by the defense. Second and ten. Here's how. He's got it. Room to run. And he's brought down after a short game. Now the Dolphins call a timeout. It's their first. Al throwing on third down. That's going to be an incomplete pass on the throw to the right. Well, Kate, that wasn't a fast enough break for the interception, but it was good enough and a good enough break to break on the ball, get a finger on it, and force the incompletion. Punt team is on now, and they get this away. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. The Dolphins and Skyler Thompson just about ready for their next drive. And at the pace he's begun the game throwing the football, Brock, he is in line for a special type of performance if they need to keep throwing it until the end. Thompson. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Here's Thompson. This one is tipped away and incomplete. Good positioning to make a play on it. That forces third down. Now Thompson to throw. This fine Smith. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. And that one goes for a gain of 11. And that's going to give the Dolphins a first down. I'm not sure how this defense let that guy slip through him like that. On third down, nonetheless, he took that snap as an opportunity. And man, did he make an impact play. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. Still sticking with the passing game. Hauled in by Waddle. And this goes across midfield and into Seahawks territory. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Throwing now, Thompson. Rifles it, and it's caught. And they're going to haul him down a step before the 30, right at the 31. A 19-yard pickup, and that's going to move the chains. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to moving the chains. There wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. Finds his man, Waddle. And he'll get it down to the 24-yard line. And we get a timeout. There's an injured player out there, and it's not somebody this offense wants to lose. Jalen Waddle, the man shaken up. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. From the 24. No hesitation, and that one's caught. That's an 11-yard pickup, and it gives them the first down. From the red zone now. Achan reels it in. And not much doing. He stopped quickly. Kid, I don't know why every once in a while I'll get these little flashbacks, but a little play like that just flashes me back to the preseason, my first preseason. When one of the veteran QBs said, hey, Brock, whatever you do, just find completions. And he will score. Touchdown, Miami. 
The Dolphins get more points to end the lopsided first half. Tyreek Hill, the touchdown. It's plays like this that make him so well regarded across this league, Brock. Yeah, such so just a difference-making receiver, Kate. Yeah. You expect him to be the target down here. You did, I did, the defenders did. But what makes him a star is even when people know his number's being called, he still finds a way to deliver. Extra point attempt coming from Sanders. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Time left for maybe a return plus a play here as they send this away. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. Looking to throw. Short pass caught by his tight end. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you've got a bully like him that can create space, just find a way to get him the ball. And the Dolphins are there to bring him down. That brings us to the break. The visiting Dolphins holding an early advantage. Now from the extreme northwest to the extreme southeast, we're going to head down to Orlando for the EA Sports Halftime Report with our buddy Jonathan Coachman. All right, Kate, thanks very much. More from you and Brock in a moment. But first, time for a look around the NFL to see what's going on here and what's already been an eventful afternoon of football. We'll start up at MetLife Stadium in New Jersey, where it was the visiting Patriots come in and get the victory on the road. The Pats playing well early as they get it to 2-1 and one with the victory. We'll stay in the NFC East as we head down to the great state of Texas to check on the Cowboys at home at AT&T Stadium. And they lead the visiting Baltimore Ravens at halftime. Big Zeke, Ezekiel Elliott, two touchdown runs. Finally, let's get out to Southern Nevada and see what's happening with the Raiders at home in Las Vegas. As you can see, the score there in the second quarter. The new Raider, Gardner Minshew, a touchdown pass. It was Raheem Mostert, the veteran who did some damage in that first half. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. The highlights from the first half, all one-sided. This one got out of hand early, and now See, you have to wonder how to these teams will approach this second half. Because this one's already close to being in the bag, if it's not his already. return starts at the five. He stopped on the return at the 27. The Seahawks sending their offense out to begin the third quarter. All the touchdowns have come from one side of the field, Brock. They're still looking for their first points of any kind in a game that has gotten out of hand. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Now Howell off to play action. Completed to Lockett. And he's going to go out of bounds. Looks a little short on the 35. That's what you call efficiency. Exactly what you're looking for in first down. Textbook. It sets up second and very manageable, and then creates that space if you want to take a shot downfield. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. What was supposed to move the chains, or at least make third down easier to handle instead? Well, did the exact opposite here, Kate. And now makes this third down a whole lot trickier to figure out. They'll throw on third and long. He's taken down. The Dolphins rush gets home. And the defense comes through. That's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. Seahawks bring it out the punt team. Michael Dixon will kick it away. Averaging over 50 yards a kick, and this is another one well hit. He's got this at the 27. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. And following that return, we've got an injured player down there. He'll receive some assistance as we step aside. The Dolphins in pretty good field position here as they come up first and ten. A run from Mostert to begin the third. And his effort results in maybe two yards, but nothing more. Okay, that's a run that's whole hum on the stat sheet. But if you see a bigger play on the ground later on, 
Largely be because of a play just like that one. Softening up the front and opening the door for a bigger gap in the future. Well, his first real mistake, that's intercepted. Rayshawn Dickens makes the play. And the Seahawks will take over as he records his first interception of our season. Well, they left the locker room in front. Great position to be in, right? But a shaky start to half number two with that interception. We know that no lead in the NFL is safe. A one-point lead, something that looks insurmountable. How many of these games so often come down to one possession in the end? With a half of football left, you just can't give away too many gifts and too many possessions. The Seahawks in good field position to start this drive off as they head up to the line. First and ten. Find Smith and Jigba. And he'll get this inside the ten to the nine. They rip off a big chunk of field and it sets them up with first and goal. Walker gets the pitch, and he's able to fight this down to the two. Give him seven on the play, and now they have second and goal. A gain of seven brings up second and goal at the two-yard line. Working from the pistol, Powell bails out of the pocket, and he will score. Touchdown, Seattle! The Seahawks pick it off and get points on the ensuing drive. It's a Sam Howell touchdown. Great play by the QB there, Brock. The play broke down. He didn't have much of a choice other than to escape and improvise. And in the end, turned out to be the best call he could have made. It is such a necessary tool in today's NFL for that QB to put right in his tool belt, Kate. You know, in my day, you could be a blacksmith, right? You could you just do the job and stay in the pocket. Not anymore. You got to be an artist. And you got to be an artist that can create when things break down. And that's big time to get a touchdown out of it as well. On now is Dixon to kick this one away. Set to return. This is Braxton Berrios. Good looking return here, and he's got room. His return gets him to the 32 yard line before he's taken down. The Dolphins are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. And as we're reminded of some of the highlights of this game, his touchdowns ranking quite high among them. We're going to see three of them here, and if you're scoring like that, Brock, it normally means you've had a pretty darn good game. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. And the receiver's going to take this one on the jet sweep. And he only manages one couple of defenders there to bring him down. This is one of those real modest gains, Kate, that I like as a call. Yeah, it's just a little more variety to your playbook. Makes that defense wonder. Those guys on the other side of the ball think a little bit. This dude's not just a receiver. He may get in the run game as well. Only a yard from that time, so now third and nine. Back to throw. Here's Thompson. Got his target. It's Hill. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel him in. The rookie from Texas there on the tackle. So the Dolphins ready for the punt. And he wants to hit his second effort just as well as he hit his first. His first punt went 50. This is away and looks even better. And a fair catch made here at the 17. We don't get a return out of that punt. And it'll be Seahawks football. Drive starts out with a first and ten. First play of the drive. Here's Walker. And they're going to bring him down just beyond the 30 at the 31. They get 13 on the pickup. And it sets up Seattle with first down. First and ten at the 31 yard line. Play action here with Howell. Got a man over the middle. Complete. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. Following that completion, a member of the O-line looks to be in some pain. They're headed out to take a look at him now. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. They're going play action. 
Fires over the middle. Caught. And the tackles may just be on midfield at the 48. All right, I'll set up now. First and 10. A give up the gut to Walker. And he's able to get this to the 32 before going down. It's a great pickup, 16 yards, and now they've got first down. Yeah, you want to get above five yards to carry? I'll put together runs like that. And I'll tell you what else a run like that does, Kate. That sets up the play action. Right? When you really just gouge and gash a defense like that, the next time you run that action, they're going to be thinking running the ball. You go right over their head. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Throwing now on play action. Cut near the goal line. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Seattle. The Seahawks shrinking the lead some in the third. It seems like a lot of the time, Brock, even if the results aren't quite as flashy every rep, tight ends are even more reliable scorers than a lot of receivers are when it comes to the passing game. Yeah, I would agree with that, but there's also a lot more real estate for them to work mm. with, right? Think of the receivers. they got to deal with the sidelines, that 12th defender. Many of these tight ends, they've got a ton of field to work with, and when they prove to the quarterback they could be a difference maker, he'll look for them. That one splits the uprights. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. On now is Dixon to kick this one away. Return coming from the six. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. Offense returning to the field now for the Dolphins. And taking a look at these highlights, Brock, just a reminder of the type of game that they have had throwing the football. It really has been the key to their success. Yeah, they've just not only stayed on schedule here, Kate. Man, they've made some music, right? Great mm. rhythm. Yeah. Not just ahead of schedule, but huge plays that follow. We've seen a lot of different looks and wrinkles throughout this performance, and it's been a joy to watch. Thompson now. The throw to the right, finds Waddle. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. He's got it. Room to run. A nice gain of 13 yards as it brings up a first down. Move the chains. Got to move them chains. Build momentum. Keep that defense on its heels. Thompson back to throw. That one falls to the turf. Couldn't hang on. It's incomplete. I'm not sure if he was hearing footsteps or he just had a surprise break in concentration. It's so unusual at this level to see a drop pass unless there's a hit involved. It's Mostert on second down. He spins right by him. Oh, he lost the football. And the fumble recovery is made. Only a yard for him that time, so now third nine. To throw, Thompson. He puts some power on a deep one left. He's got it complete. And he will score. Touchdown, Miami. The Dolphins lengthen the lead at the end of the third. Tyreek Hill, the touchdown. His second scoring catch of the game. Well, as they drive forward to what right now looks like it should be a win, Brock. He sure is taking advantage of a nice little chance to boost his stat line. His second touchdown of the game. Yeah, you just kind of feel these two building some trust, right? Just more and more equity. Certainly paying dividends in this one, but more than likely for more games to come. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Sanders all set to send it away. Kickoff taken at the three. And the return sets them up just beyond their own 20. The Seahawks start headed out, and we'll see Kenneth Walker. They're down 21 now after that last score, and in need of a comeback as we work through this game. They're out and set, first and 10. Free play here. Let's see what he does. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. 
And they take him down, but there's a flag on the play. Easy call for the officials there. He was off signs at the snap, and that's going to cost him. Still first down. Still first down. Now, a great way for the offense to start the drive, Brock. A free five yards, and now a much shorter first down. Here's Walker running right. And not a lot of room for him as he's brought down. Call it two yards that time. Now just a few to go on second and three. Running with Walker again. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. Give him three yards, and they're just inches away on third down. Just one quarter remaining in this one. The Seahawks have possession, and this final quarter begins with them in a massive hole. Here we go, third and less than a yard. Howell out of the shotgun. Walker hauls it in. And he'll go down after fighting his way to the 32. Just a single yard, but that's going to be enough to move the chains. You know, they call that the money down for a reason, because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's the money down. And nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. And he just gets rid of it. Knew he had a couple of plays left. Didn't want to take a risk there on first down. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. And the shotgun, Howell. He'll dump this one off to his running back, complete. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. The throw again, it's Howell. Over the middle, caught, complete pass. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. It's a pickup of 34 yards, and the Seahawks will have a first down. You throw it in the middle of the field, it's all about anticipation and accuracy. I mean, those are the two keys all the time in my book, Kate. But when you throw it in the middle of the field with all of the traffic, that's where guys with great anticipation and that tremendous accuracy come to life. First down, Howell. Got a man over the middle, complete. And he's brought down. They're going to mark him at the 14. Let's see what they want to do here, partner. It's second and inches. Ten yards on the pickup. It's second and inches at the 14 yard line. Howell from the gun. The throw is caught. And as they bring him down, let's check the penalty flag. A game they were pretty happy with goes away via the penalty. And now we're going to wait to see how they respond. They'll run here following the penalty. Space to the left. And they take it across the goal line. Touchdown, Seattle! The Seahawks get it back to within two possessions. Kenneth Walker, the touchdown. This was a clear passing down, Brock, and the run surprised all of us, and there it goes for a touchdown. That's well said. Rewarded for going against the grain. Common sense analytics tell you throw it, but the surprise paid dividends. That one splits the uprights, and they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. Now is Dixon to kick this one away. Starting from the five. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The Dolphins ready for their next series. Let out on offense by their quarterback. And on that last drive, Brock, he crossed a notable threshold in passing yards for the season. Always nice when you can reach one of those plateaus to look back on after the year is over. The drive begins with a run for Mostert. And he maneuvers through the middle for a gain of four. 
He'll expect more from himself on those type of plays, but there is nobody that's going to complain about that one. If you can do math, four plus four plus four equals a first down. That's Hill on the slant. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. Give him 13 on that play. And it'll be first down Miami. They'll empty the backfield and motion him right. That's into the hands of Mostert. And they'll stand him up and sit him down at the line. Defense all over that throw. You could just smell it. They just smelled that football coming their way, and that's as good as an incompletion. And they're going to be in a good spot. Second down coming up. Second and ten now. He fires one deep down the right side. This is caught inside the 15. They rip off a huge chunk of field as the downs reset. One thing we don't have in football is we don't have that radar gun. But if we did, Kate, this is the kind of throw when you throw it that deep outside the numbers that requires a serious fastball, serious arm strength, and he just showed it off. What a spot for a big play, huh, Brock? It has him well into the red zone now with first and ten. They'll try it right with Moster. Jukes one defender. He found a little room to turn it into a nice game down to the six. Second and three now. They'll go again with Moster. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Now after the run, we see some trainers headed out for an injured player who was shaken up. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. Now Thompson to throw. And he will score. Touchdown, Miami. The Dolphins make it a three-score game in the fourth. Raheem Mostert, the touchdown. Wow, just fantastic work there. Tiptoeing along the back line. The concentration was there. Great catch for six. Yeah, the concentration and the body control. I don't know how these receivers do it in this day and age. There's no space to work with, yet they have such an awareness to secure it first, to tap dance the line, and go get that touchdown. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Sanders all set to send it away. Here's a return from the seven. He's got a lane up past the 30. They'll begin from the 36 as the returner's brought down. The Seahawks back out on offense. They're running back, headed out once again. They get that big old marker out, cross a major number off his roadmap after that last drive. He's reached one of the marks that every back strives to hit at some point during the season. And he finds the seam down the middle complete. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. Into the hands of Walker. It's a massive 35-yard pickup. First down. Working inside the red zone. No place to go, so he just threw it away. That was a situation where he got the time in the pocket he needed. There just wasn't anyone open to throw it to. It got to the point he had two choices as that clock is going off in his head. Force a throw and risk a pick, or just get rid of it and cut your losses on the play. And he goes down, approaching that 10-yard line. Following that completion, a member of the O-line looks to be in some pain. They're headed out to take a look at him now. All plays on the table here for third and three. 
to throw. Howell. Toward the side of the end zone, but that one's incomplete. That throw doesn't lead to six. And it's fourth and short. We'll see if they go for it. Now we'll throw it for it. That's incomplete on fourth down, and they'll turn over possession. Hey, I get it. it's already over, but go down swinging. Unfortunately, that play, like so many of them today, Kate, has been pretty indicative of how this contest has gone. The visitors and Tyreek Hill headed back out on offense. And they should just be able to kneel out what time remains. There's three timeouts defensively still available, but using them is not going to alter this outcome. By a man, and now he's in the clear. And he'll be brought down along the 25-yard line. And it's a pickup of 14 yards as the chains reset. Okay, this is why coaches across all levels of football harp on the importance of good, fundamental tackling, not just to hear themselves talk. Uh-uh, it's to make sure that when one of their guys has a chance to bring down a running back, they're able to do it and keep those plays from going any further. And the plunge up the gut yields nothing there. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and ten. Counter give to Moster. And he found some running room for a nice game. Seven yards on the carry. Now they've got third and three. So it's a win for the visiting Dolphins. And it was a game for fans of high-scoring football, wasn't it? I know Brock was enjoying seeing both of these offenses work, and really not a lot to dislike from either group. Just one side working at a slightly better clip than the other. That was the difference in the win. So that's it for us here. Brock Heward, our crew, I'm Kate Scott. This has been the NFL on EA Sports. The Dolphins, your winners, as we say so long from Seattle.